I am Professor Fred Ogola. I'm the leader of Linda Jami. I want to call upon Kenyans to protest publicly these things, so-called titles. We call our president, His Excellency, Deputy President, His Excellency. We call our MPs, Honorables. There are so many big titles we have given to so many leaders. Yes, actually, we don't have leaders. We have ruiners. They have ruined our economy. They have ruined our social life. They have ruined our political life. They have created tribalism. They have brought all sorts of things, but we give them very big titles. Now, why did we go on to start calling people these big titles? His Excellency should show the excellence upon which a head of state, deputy head of state, runs a country in an excellent manner. And this should be seen in the cost of living. When you go to the supermarket, do you see how excellent the prices of goods are? If you look at the Kenya shillings and the dollar, does it reflect excellence? If you go to schools, like now, secondary school results were released, where some students were given Ds, a whole school like Aruba Boys. You go to uh, some schools, Es, all students. And some schools actually A's, maybe less deserving. The education system is in shambles. If you look at how junior primary school is being run, where students are learning topics they should learn in, in, uh, in secondary school, in, for example, when we were there in uh, Form 3, they are doing them now actually in, uh, in, in uh, Class 7. These are disservice. You look at our security system, insecurity everywhere. You look at tribal uh, wars everywhere being created by these people called honorables. You look at the issue of disunity that is in the country being led by the leaders we call so-called leaders. I call them runners. So what I'm trying to say is that members of parliament, 80, 87 of you, who decided to take bribes and avoid going to vote as to represent the people, are you still able or do you still deserve to be called honorable? When the state of the nation is this bad, where headline news beginning to end, corruption everywhere, too much debt, the dollar is doing too good against the Kenya shillings, Kenya is losing reputation globally, is the head of state worth being called His Excellency, members of parliament being called honorable members, and our head of judiciary being called this title called justice. How can we have give somebody title justice when actually there's a lot of injustice in Kenya? In fact, the president has gone on to say that there's a lot of corruption in the judiciary. Judiciary went to meet the president to discuss how to finish those corruption in the judiciary, in the executive, and in the, in the, in, in the legislature. We have the most corrupt legislature, the most corrupt executive, and the most corrupt judiciary, if you want to say that title, given if the president says. But we still applaud that judiciary should be the last place to get justice. Therefore, we can still give them the title, justices. But coming to the executive and legislature, I want to call upon Kenyans that we should withdraw and stop calling these people, these names called uh, His Excellency, High Excellency, Honorable Members, we should just call them by their names until they leave the test of those titles when we can call them His Excellency, High Excellency, Honorable Members, and all those names. But for now, Kenyans, in public protest, let us withdraw those titles because we are just pampering them, yet they don't care about us. We should be the one to be honorable. We should be the one who are excellent because we pay taxes. Uh, we struggle through the economy. The money that keeps His Excellencies and high excellencies uh, and the honorables, the money comes from the citizens. We, they fail us, we don't fail them. We work hard, pay taxes, and keep bankrolling them, driving big vehicles, enjoying red carpets. Yet they walk on a red carpet, yet they don't deserve it. So in public protest, Kenyans listening to me, if we don't come together and follow what I'm trying to say, we shall be cheated forever. Let us withdraw those titles and call them their name. Call them William Ruto, Rigadiga Chagwa. Call them uh, so and so by names. Let us say honorable. Let's stop those titles because even God does not want us to call people titles. His son simply say, I'm the son of man. Why for them they have become like sons of God? Mutuku for us, those are titles of, of God. They should not be given to a human being. Let's withdraw those titles and call our leaders by their name. Until they live to the expectation of those names, we should not call them those names. Thank you.